I do. Um, there's times where I, I talk too much, and there's times where um, I just need to listen to other guys in the court because I see things and they see things as well. But even though I say it, they don't say it all the time, so I need to learn how to listen to those guys when they see things that I'm doing and take criticism. You said if you don't improve, he's going to kill you. I know he's kidding about that, but do, do you kind of appreciate the fact that he gets on you and pushes you to be better? Yeah, um, I do. Um, I think he's going to coach me a lot harder from here on out, and I think he's going to push me harder and harder now. And I'm excited for it. Kind of nervous, but excited because um, when he says he killed, he killed me, it's more about getting my body in shape and being able to run, run longer and play play harder because um, I show more athleticism and spurts, and especially during um, pick up in uh, different games. But um, I got to do that like I did tonight. Really, really play hard. Grant, are there times where you think, or how many times this year have you thought, I just can't do anything to make this guy happy? <laughs> uh, I think he smiles. Um, no matter what, he's going to tease you. Um, sometimes in practice, he'll get on you super hard, and then you, you, you get really nervous, and you kind of go in your little shell, and you turn around, and you smile with the other coaches behind you. So it's all out of love. He's trying to get us better. So I think we're making him happy. I think we're going to keep fighting for him, and we just got to keep going from there. This was